Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Ecovax Technical Support. Uh, today, actually, uh, we will talk about uh, the anti-drop sensor because some customers they complain that uh, their debot is giving error. That uh, debot uh, is asking that uh, to check the anti-drop sensor or uh, check my anti-drop sensor, clean my anti-drop sensor. These uh, issues, these error, actually, debot is giving. So, what is the reason why the debot gives this error? For example, this one I show you. Please clean my anti-drop sensor. Please clean my anti-drop sensors. So what is the reason why the debot is giving the anti-drop sensor? First of all, I show you that the, what is the, how the anti-drop sensor faulty. I show you this one is the, the anti-drop sensor actually taken from this debot which I'm showing you now. Okay, you see the condition inside the anti-drop sensor. It became rusty actually, and the wire broken already. So. Because of this rust, actually, this anti-drop sensor stopped working. Why this uh, anti-drop sensor became rusty? Uh, from here also, actually, if we see from the glass also, we can see that uh, this uh, sensor was faulty. From here, we can see there's a rust inside the glass. From here also, we can confirm. For example, if you hold the debot here, so from here, we can confirm whether the, the anti-drop sensor is okay or not from here. We can see the rust inside the glass. As you can see, this one, now this debot is giving error. So this sensor, I can confirm inside, I can see the rust here. So mean this sensor also need to replace. That is why debot is giving error. So now if actually we can replace the sensor, debot will stop working. But what is the reason why the sensor faulty? If we know this thing that why the, uh, I mean, how we can prevent uh, uh, this thing that, uh, so it, we can, uh, I mean, use this longer, this machine, it won't give you any trouble. Then that is the main reason actually, that is the main point that if we know that how we can take care of this thing that uh, the debug won't spoil, that I let you know. Uh, whenever I show you here, on the machine I run for you. Okay, I pause. This one is the, the debot actually already have the water tank attached here. So I remove the water tank. So once we remove the water tank, so now I will hold the debot. Of course, we will hold from here or we will hold from here like that. For example, normally we hold like that, the customer hold like that. So you see, whether we remove the water tank, still there are few drops inside the pipeline actually. So those few drops will, when we hold the debot like that, so the few drops will come out here and touch with this sensor. That is why always this sensor faulty, left side. Most of, I mean, the 90% the debots which I receive uh, with the sensor issue one is always is uh, because of this left sensor issue. Why? Because when we hold the debot like that, so the, whatever the few drops inside, they go like that and touch with the sensor. So what is uh, how we can prevent this one? For example, I run the debot here again and I stop. Now the water is inside the pipe again. So I remove the water tank. So what, how we can prevent this thing so the water won't go in the water tank is we hold the machine like that and we just two, three times we do like that. So whatever the drop water inside will drop, then this part will be clean. Then the water will not enter in these areas, whether you hold this side or whether you hold this side. If you just do one or two times like that, so whatever the water few drops inside will drop down. Then you can, I mean, it uh, the water will not touch with the uh, anti-drop sensor. That the, some customers, they actually they request that uh, we already, I mean, take care, we drop uh, all the water, what is inside. Still, I mean, after, uh, you can say, six, seven months or one year later, our debot, uh, why giving this error? So the reason I let you know, uh, because we are using the mopping function with this one. So whatever, sometime uh, the debot mistakenly, we run at the wet places also. So whatever the water, the debot will pick up from the floor, will go in here from the dust box and from the uh, vacuum fan it will go here and from the moisture whatever it will pick up from the floor the moisture come out here from the vacuum fan and go in here this is a left anti-drop sensor actually so whatever the moisture come out here and here you can see uh, the moisture will go in here and this anti-drop sensor will be faulty so that is the reason i mean if we are taking care and still after one year or two years later if your devote is giving the anti-drop sensor error so this is the reason that the moisture for through the vacuum fan is go in here and touch with this anti-drop sensor and this anti-drop sensor is uh, faulty so when we replace, once we replace this anti-drop sensor, then it starts working again. 
So normally actually we have to take care only from the water. That is the main thing actually. Uh, why the debut I mean always they uh, give this error anti-drop sensor that one is because of the water tank because the water few drops go in and touch with the anti-drop sensor that is the main reason if we take care of that one then we can use longer no issue no problem and uh, one or two debuts I will show you that uh, once we open so this whole part became rusty some customer actually mistakenly they use at the wet places and this whole part became rusty I will show you one or two reports, uh, the pictures, so the customer easily can understand that uh, what I am explaining, I want to explain, that the moisture come out from here through the vacuum fan, and the vacuum fan actually, this one is the outlet, uh, output from the out, uh, vacuum fan, and all this part became rusty uh, until here. So that is the reason actually. If we just take care uh, of this thing, then we can use the uh, remote. Okay, so from here you can see the dust box, uh, this one is the inlet of the dust box. So the dust go in here, whatever the water also is the debot will pick up. So go in here inside the dust box and from here through the vacuum fan, the, this one is the outlet of the vacuum fan. So the whatever the moisture or the water will come out from here and here you can see this part is fully rusty. So if this part is rusty, so of course the water, the air flow will go in here and touch here with the anti-drop sensors as well. Here is the anti-drop sensors. So if this part is rusty, so of course all these uh, sensors also and here this side also the anti-drop sensor also became rusty. That is the reason actually the normally the anti-drop sensor so after I replace uh, this, uh, that's the rusty sensor as you can see in the video. And this one also is uh, fully rusty. All these, uh, I mean the four sensors, left and right side one after I replace. Uh, so this depot already replaced left and right anti-drop sensors. No, see whether the debot can move forward or not. If it can move forward, it means that just only the anti drop sensor was giving error. I guess no, the debot can move forward. So, this one is a normal movement for the debot. Yes. So, just only after replacing the left and right anti drop sensor, no debot start moving forward. Hopefully, this video will be useful for you. If you like this video, so please share. Uh, subscribe my channel and uh, share the videos to other customers also, other friends. Thank you.